His story, the story of his life, rhymes so well with a lot of stories of other people in this country who are now in very big places. And that's what makes this book real. And that is why I think Dan picked interest 20 years ago and has now finally taken a decision that this book, whose characters are long dead, must now leap from the pages and walk again and tell the story of the history of Uganda. It is an important testimony. This book tells us stories about those events that challenges the foundation of our faith. His own faith, foundation of his faith was challenged. And many of you here, you have had situations where you have asked those fundamental questions. God, where are you? Why are things happening the way they are happening? I did not know this about Reverend Jefferson. I did not know that at many times in his life he had to ask those questions and yet he was preaching the gospel. And it was turning crowds around. And it was turning people who could not even think of believing into believers and people who started preaching. I did not think he was able to do this. Most of what Reverend Kephas Mbanji has lived is so much the life portrayed by Christ in the story of the Good Samaritan parable. Many of you know that parable. And you know that that discussion came between Jesus Christ and the lawyer. And it was all about what are the laws that would take heaven. And Jesus asked the lawyer, what does the law say? The lawyer said, says, love your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with everything that you have. And the second one, love your neighbor as yourself. Then Jesus said, you have answered well, do that, and you'll be okay. But the lawyer did not want to be defeated. So he asked Jesus again, but then who is my neighbor? Who is my neighbor? The lawyers who are here will know that that same question is asked in law and was asked in law. And the answer to a lawyer was different. That the neighbor is the person so blessed that I should have had them in contemplation when I was doing or not doing something and knowing that my action or lack of action would cause injury to that person. That person would be my neighbor in law. But what was Jesus' answer to the lawyer? He tells the story of the Good Samaritan. And in telling that story, he creates seven characters. In that simple story, he creates the wounded man, he creates the robbers, he creates the rabbi, he creates the innkeeper, Jesus himself, God, and several other characters, and the Good Samaritan. And if you relate the story of the Good Samaritan and you think of the wounded man as our country, Uganda, in the testimony spontaneously in this book as written by Reverend Jefferson, who would be the characters portrayed by Jesus in this story of the Good Samaritan? You see that the first character that stands out very clearly is the lawyer. To the lawyer, 
The wounded man was simply a topic for discussion, nothing more. So they could engage the whole day talking about it because it was just a topic for discussion. And if you read this book, you'll find that Reverend Jefferson Plante at a certain point had also turned God into a topic of discussion where they would talk at, at intellectual level and have these discussions at those levels until it was challenged again. So the country called Uganda, if that is the wounded man, there were many people who thought Uganda was just, the issues about Uganda was just a topic for discussion. No big deal. In a bar, you have a chat about it, that's it. What about to the rabbi? And the Pharisee, man of God, who came and looked at the wounded man, looked the other side and walked by. To them, the wounded man was a problem to be avoided. Don't be associated with it. And there are many people in this book that looked at our country as a problem to be avoided. You'd rather just walk away from it. Don't even talk about it. It's not your business doesn't affect you directly, so go home. Why talk about Uganda? These characters are in this book, and these characters are within us as human beings. And then he talks about the robbers, the people who are come to maim, to destroy, to loot, and steal from, and possibly kill. There are many in this book. To them, the wounded man was something to rob. Our country, Uganda, was something to destroy, something to rob, something to practice corruption on. That is our wounded man as a country, as seen with the perspective of the thieves 